Man, you tuned in with the Wolf Club, member that switch, Dash Radio, you know, tune in the greatest creative in the world. I spotlight artists and creators all through Texas, and today we got a very special guest. Let her introduce herself. Hey everybody, all my love bugs. My name is Tati Love, and I'm from Houston, and I'm here to show you some love. <laughs> so with that being said, like, could you tell me how the brand got started, you know, how you developed as an artist? Um, well, I've been working since I was 12. Um, I was born into music, so like, it started when I was a child. But um, over time, while well, I had the opportunity to experience different avenues, um, I worked with good producers. I worked with producers that are like, basically, they were like brand new and stuff like that. So now what established my brand is just me, life, and what I've been going through and what I've experienced. And I believe Tati Love is a combination of who I am. Tati spicy and fun and sexy and shit like that. And then love is just friendly and lovely and stuff like that. So that's where it comes from. And anybody who loves me is my love book. Respect that. I feel like a lot of the artists and creators that come on the platform, like, they don't have that much personality as you do. Like, I can see you, like, really being a star. You know, not just an underground artist, but as you develop in some platforms you've probably been on, like, can you explain some of the hardships you probably went through, like, coming up on SoundCloud or, you know, other platforms with you being a female creator? Because I know it's a lot. I mean, it's hardships and everything, but the only thing I can say is, don't allow them hardships to stop you. If you have a vision for yourself and you know who you are, the only person who can stop you is you. So, I mean, as far as hardships go, they gonna come regardless. <laughs> and I'm ready for them. Okay. <laughs> you What's some milestones you can say, you know, as an artist and creator that you got through, you know, or something you feel like that's a milestone you overcame? Let me see. Um, a milestone. I think people look at milestones as negative connotations, but mm -hmm. a milestone for me, um, two years ago, I got offered a record deal by, uh, what is it, Music World Entertainment, Mr. Okay. Matthew you Knowles. Drop. You're getting exclusive. <laughs> you know, you know. And um, that's a milestone for me because I was going to sign it at first because it seemed like a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was smart about it, and I hired a lawyer, and the lawyer went through the contract with me, and basically, you know, I realized, okay, I can basically do this on my own. That particular contract wasn't the right one for me, so I didn't sign it, so I guess that's a milestone. Could you elaborate on that a little more? Because I feel like a lot of artists, they see the advancements, they see the investments, and they be like, man, I should just sign this deal. Why did you feel like that wasn't the avenue? Because at the end of the day, you know, the labels and the businesses, they want to make money off of you. They want Definitely. you to be their product, which I can understand that, you know, it's all about marketing and stuff like that. But if you could do it yourself, especially now with like all of the the avenues that we have, fucking um, excuse me, all the avenues that we have, <laughs> we got um, social media and stuff, um, the websites and stuff like that online. You're able to basically bring yourself up. So when it took the interview or not the interview, it took the lawyer four hours. Mm -hmm to explain this to me, to like go through this whole contract with me. And afterwards I just realized it's not really worth it because let's say I'm signed with them for 12 months. And then in 12 months, I just went through artist development. And then after that artist development, I release a single, you know, the life of a single is 18 months. Very true. So after the single, if he decides, oh, I don't want to deal with her anymore, which he probably wouldn't have, baby, okay? <laughs> but anyway, if he were to decide that, I wouldn't have been able to own any of my rights. And I'm a boss bitch, so I, it inspired me to start my own publishing company and to really just get after it for myself. Oh, wait, you said start your own publishing company. 
Yes. That's not something you hear a lot of underground artists elaborate on. Like, what do you mean by starting your own publishing company? Well, I mean, if you own your publishing rights and your songwriting rights, you get in all the checks. So, <laughs> you know, if I do get offered the right deal, of course I'm going to take it. But, you know, that particular one wasn't right for me because it wasn't even a huge sign-on bonus, you know. It's, it's just certain logistics that you have to consider before you go into any contract. And that's like, that's what music... That's with damn apartments, cars, and whatever else you're trying to do. Most definitely. And you know, my channel is sponsored by the NBA. Running with so the pack. I don't know if you're a big the fan Wolf of Club sports, on right? Dash Radio. But I got to know your favorite players at least. Well, mean? to be honest, you know, I think I'm a fan of Golden State Warriors and, of course, Houston. <sighs> James wow. Harden. Of course, okay, Kevin yeah. Durant, sorry that you tore your little Achilles. We praying for you. I'm hoping you get better because we need you back. For real. On though. that court, Mr. Kevin. You okay, hi. It? In that hospital bed. He's back on the court now. He's back on the court now. So he's good. He went through surgery. Okay. All right. Well, 24 hours. We're back on the court. <laughs> well, I'm a little off on that. Right. Hey, at least you named some legends, you know, and upcoming Hall of Fame. So I got to respect that. You know, at least you know a little something about it. You know, so at least you being an independent the wolf artist. I recently checked out your resume and you did break 100K plays. Now, to most people, that may not seem like a milestone, but to be an independent artist and to break those plays organically, I feel like that's a big milestone. Can you it is a big that? milestone. I mean, it was like, I guess it was like, really like a wow moment for me. But at this point, you know, I'm just taking it for what it is and I'm going to shoot a video. I'm going to keep it pushing. And I have a studio session today, so I'm making a whole new single. Okay. And we're going to keep bringing out more stuff and see what people like. Most definitely. Um, with that being said, like, could you definitely tell them where they can find you at? Your socials, you know, any new events you got coming up, you know, anything that's, you know, need to be checked out. Like, this is your time. Y'all can definitely follow me on all social platforms at I am Tati Love underscore you can find me on soundcloud right now for all my streaming purposes under tati love music that's where i'm at currently but don't hold your breath baby because i'm coming on every platform and i will be there for you um facebook tati love music same at i am tati love underscore and i hope to hear from y'all soon One more Chat with me. before we go i want you to elaborate on that single that you broke 100k plays with because i feel like that's very very important I need to stream that and go down. You definitely need to go stream. Come see me. It's a dance hall type beat. Um, I made this song when I was in the kitchen <laughs> cleaning dishes, actually. And I was just listening to a beat. I had one of my friends there. He starts singing. If you hear the guy in the background singing, come see me now. Hey, come see me now. <laughs> that was him. He said that. And then from there, I just pretty much freestyled the whole thing and have freestyle. fun with it yeah i freestyled that whole thing well, I honestly thought <laughs> the second verse i came back and made some tweaks to the freestyle but you know i just had fun with it it's like a summer feel like a nice upbeat type of thing and it's kind of caribbean so that's what it's about go stream it for me on soundcloud most definitely. That made me respect your artistry a whole bunch more. Like, Thank it's you. a difference between somebody writing with pen and pad, but to actually, like, freestyle, you know, songs and business, like, that's a whole different mode. Thank it was you. a lot to even have you on the show. Aww. You know, shout out to your management, you know, Millie and them, they showed a lot of love. Shout out Millie Mittens, that's the management right there, putting the picture on. Cold dude, you know what I'm saying? Definitely lock in, tap in, you know, it's the Wolf Club, <laughs> everybody the hand that feeds you. By Nothing down with the Wolf Club. Ah! Ah! Which tuned in, can't.